Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today, believe it or not, I'm not going to send you an Undyno video. This time I have a small tutorial for you. How to set the idle current on a Class IB Classic Rockford Fastgate Amplifier. The idle current is the current the amplifier is pulling out of your battery system when he is not uh, producing sound. So I mean no sound reinforcement. You get crossover distortion if the idle current is set to low, especially in the higher frequency range. The Punch 200X2 Trans R is on the bench and I turned it on with no input. Connection gains totally to the left and you can see on the left side my power supply I have 14 volts applied and the amp is idling at 2.21 amps. It's a little bit too much. I think we can optimize it to around a little bit more than one amp. The idle current has to be adjusted. We have two pots. I will zoom a little bit to the main board so you can see it. You have to do it for each channel. So here's one and here's one. Turn them all counterclockwise. Now it's at 1.36. <coughs> Because I turned one channel completely counterclockwise, now I take the other channel. There are two ways I know how to adjust the idle current. I will start with one channel without a load and turn it slowly until it's going up. Now it's going up slowly. I turn, I turn, and now I stop. So and the other channel also, I turn, I turn, nothing happens. It goes up, so that should be enough. This is a short version of adjusting the idle current um, without checking the output. The idle current affects the sound quality of an amplifier. So I will just connect a 2 ohm load for each channel and then I will hook up my scope and check for a crossover distortion. Both parts counterclockwise. These notches here, this is crossover distortion. Now I turn clockwise slowly, you can see it disappears. So. I leave a, a very small notch. Now I connect uh, my scope and the load to the other channel. And here's my frequency and I turn the pot. And you can see it disappears slowly. I will leave a small bump. So you can recheck with higher frequencies. I used uh, 15 kilohertz. Let's check out if it's still clean at 20 kilohertz. So it's also clean at 20 kilohertz. You can see there's no notch. Looks very good. And I will also turn my gains back and disconnect the load. And then we take a look at our power supply. The punch is idling at one amp. I will demonstrate that there is regulation in it and I change the supply voltage and you can check out the idle current. So I go down to 13.2, it goes up a little bit, 12 volts 1.25. This is your car without engine running and if the engine is running you can go up to 14.4. So this is when your engine is running, you have around one amp. I go down back to my 14 volt and you have one amp. It's perfectly adjusted. Higher frequency looks clear on the scope. So you will not have audible distortion. If you find this video useful, you can make me happy by leaving a thumb or better subscribe to my channel. Why is it important to subscribe to my channel? Well, easy answer. I still have this amplifier here sitting around which has to go just for shipping costs. And this will happen when the amount of subscribers 
is hitting the 1000 mark. So get this amp for free. It's a special amp, it's recapped. And new game pods installed and tested and dynoed by me. See you next time for another video. Bye bye.